All right, just this is just a heads up, okay? When I'm, I'm going to ship this lift today, but I'm going to leave it in pieces so it's easier to install. So the first piece you'll install in the back of the pickup truck will be this piece right here, okay? This corner piece, which makes sense. So when you get it, you're going to have to pull this box off. So when you pull the box off, you'll see there's a wire right here. Just make sure you pull it off. You can disconnect those wires in here if you want to, okay? Pull the box off, and then you have a bolt in the corner, a bolt in the corner, and you have a long one here on this corner right here. You have a long one right here, okay? But what I want to make sure to show you, if you look on this side right here, right here is a sensor. There are many sensors. There's two of them. Do not hit these sensors. This is how you adjust these rings. There's a little Allen wrench at the end of my finger right here. You can turn these rings to adjust how far the lift turns and stops. Do not hit these sensors because then you're going to have to have a whole new sensor, okay? So just to, just, to, just to let you know, once you take the box off to install the lift, do not hit these sensors, okay? Then when you're done installing the base, which is easier without all that stuff on it, put your box back on and, and the on and off and the switch will be on this side of the tailgate, so it will be like, be like this. And, you run the, and this is your power cable right here, so you got to make sure it's not very long. It comes out, it comes out of here, okay, but actually, I'm going to make this a little longer, okay, it should be, uh, it's going to be hard to find, that's your power cable, so I'll make it a little longer so it sticks out over here, and then you put your cover back on, and the next thing you'll do, you'll put this beam on right here, and you can see the cable matches, so you would plug this cable here, push it back in the hole, put the cape, put the pipe in here, and you can see the holes on the pipe or on the side. So you would put you would put it there and you would put your bolt, your height adjustment bolt. So this is a height adjustment pole, so you can go ahead. So find the hole. I'm half blind here. There we go. So that makes sense? So put that pole on next. And the next thing you'll have to do is put your beam on. Okay. Run the cable through the beam. Put the beam on here. And in this beam, you have one big bolt right here. We'll leave it in the beam. Put this big bolt Right through here, if you watch on this side, the bolt goes through this hole right here, all the way across, and then you just put your other bolt here, and your lift is ready to go. Then you connect these two cables, and you're ready to go. Again, I'm going to take it apart. You take the bolt off of here, which we'll have on here in a minute. Then you take, you take this bolt out. Right now, it's because I have all the pressure on it, but pull the beam out. So you'll reverse, when you put it on, you'll just reverse it. And it will take this other beam off here. So actually, I'm going to leave that one on here for now. So when you get this, it'll be on here like this, okay? Take the bolt off, take the beam off, and the, pull the cover, but be careful with those um, two sensors. You don't break them. And that's it. And, I'm, and the power cable will be coming out of here. I'll make it a little longer. So I just want to send you a video so you don't damage your sensor because a lot of people get these lifts and the cover goes up and down and falls on the sensors, okay? So be careful of your sensors. 